The contract drama with Zadarius Smith continues to roll along on down the line. And I am hoping that the Vikings can find a way to keep Zadarius, revise his contract, keep Dalvin Cook, revise his contract. I think he's got a couple good years left in him. And also, of course, extend Daniel Hunter forever. And also give Jefferson a 100-year contract. But with Zadarius... It's going to be interesting because this offseason, he, he's already said not even the, the Minnesota goodbye, like a legitimate goodbye, like deuces and sold his house as well as a reportedly uh, requested a trade. There you go. So it is a staring contest right now between him uh, and Kwesi Adolfa Mensa. But there's been some interesting developments, and this comes from Darren Doogie Wolfson uh, over on the Purple and Scold podcast today. Uh, quote, this is Doogie. On Zadarius Smith, what's even more fascinating, he fired his agent. He had multiple agents, uh, and he had them for years. The last week or two, fired them, hired Eric Burkhart, who represents Kyler Murray, and with the Vikings, Christian Derrissaw. is going to get paid soon, too. Uh, now, I'm curious to see, with new representation, how this all shakes out. Now, generally... When players change agents, they're not happy with the way that things are going with their contracts or potentially looking for a trade. So, you know, with Zedarius, obviously he would like to get his contract freshened up. Maybe there's too many hurt feelings with the Vikings. Maybe he wants a fresh start, and the Vikings haven't given that to him. Like, they didn't cut him uh, before half of his base salary became due, uh, became fully guaranteed on the third day of the new league year. They didn't uh, cut or trade him during free agency. They didn't cut or trade him uh, during the NFL draft. So now, as we're heading in the stretch run into OTA's mandatory minicamp vacation and then training camp, He's still a Viking, and maybe he's not happy with that. Maybe he's not happy with his compensation. But, of course, he only has himself to blame in, in that regard. And uh, Zadaris's agent still listed on spot rack uh, as Bill Johnson uh, and just a cursory search. Apparently he's uh, been with uh, Bill Johnson and sports trust since 2016. Uh, he came in the league in 2015 and it says that after his rookie year, uh, he signed up with Bill Johnson and sports trust and company. So now he's flipping over to Eric Burkhart. And like Doogie said, he uh, is the super agent that somehow some way convinced the Cardinals to give uh, Kyler all of the money. You know, the five-year, $230.5 million contract with 160 guaranteed, as well as required studying time, which they they, they didn't remove. But uh, like Zadaris, like I said, Zadaris only has himself to blame for this. But I, I understand why he could blame his agent, because with the Ravens, they had a deal in hand, and then they decided to press their luck after Von Miller got paid. They asked for some more money. The Ravens and EDC pulled the deal, came over to the Vikings, and... We said this a bunch. This was a horrible contract where he should have signed a one-year prove-it deal, and he proved it to a degree last year before he got injured, and he would have uh, hit open free agency, and he would have gotten paid. But now he's stuck here uh, with a $9.45 million base salary, which is roughly, I don't know, a third of elite edge rusher pay. And, yes, uh, you know, $5.05 million of it is guaranteed at this point, but uh, there, I'm sure there's offset language in here, so the Vikings – uh, would be able to cut him theoretically, and if he signed somewhere uh, for up to and over 5.05 million, they would be off the hook, so he wouldn't be able to double dip, which would make sense in that regard. But I don't know. I I, I don't know what to do at, at this stage. Like, do you reward him for all the off-season shenanigans, as well as not showing up to voluntary minicamp? Excuse me, uh, volunteer off-season workouts phase one and two, uh, because you know it, t- team leaders should be stepping up and doing that, just like he did last year. But I don't know at this point. Like Zadarius is super talented, and obviously I would love to see a world where Zadarius and the Vikings work out a deal. Uh, obviously, you extend to Neil forever, and Davenport uh, pans out on some of that potential, and the Vikings have the best edge rushing wrecking crew room ever, as well as sprinkle in some Wanham, as well as some Patrick Jones II second and some Andre Carter II. second. Woo. Would be some good times there. But I don't know, man. Like who really knows what's gonna what's gonna happen, but this is a clear sign that um, you know things. Um, something stinks in Denmark, where something's going to happen at this point. You know, Zadarius with the new agent Burkhart is very adept at getting deals done or forcing trades. So we'll see what happens. I think at this point, you know, if if Zadarius is is uh, dead set on not returning for the Vikings, you know, getting like a sixth or seventh rounder in 2024. And getting his contract off the books, the Vikings would save a bundle in cap space, would be worth it. Or 
revising the deal, putting in playing time incentives, putting in sack incentives, putting in winning the division, winning the conference incentives, uh, and he can uh, recoup all, all of that. And if he and he can get paid like one of the elite edge rushers in the game, if he stays healthy and the Vikings have success, that may be the compromise because the Vikings and Kwesi could just put their foot down and be like, hey, you're playing here or you're playing nowhere. You literally have two years left on your deal. What's it going to be? And with the new CBA, it's nearly impossible to hold out in any significant fashion in training camp uh, with the fines that can't be forgiven as well as uh, the potential tolling of the contract. But we'll see what happens there. Your thoughts are our thoughts. Uh, Zadarius Smith reportedly fires his agent, hires super agent Eric Burkhart. Let us know your thoughts and our thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Most worth the work. Put a little something in the Venmo. But to next time, Skull Production Value.